Oh, no, nah, man. Let me, let me correct that, man. This is our specific. <laughs> it's like every single one of us have a hand in it. And um, Paris doing a much better job of focusing and dialing um, and, and trying to, like, um, apply the discipline that's necessary, the consistency of the discipline that's necessary for him to take his leg to the next level. And experience help. He's a sophomore last year, and now he's going to his junior year, so he's somebody that uh, we're really counting on to, to execute on a high level and an existence on since it's hard, I'm just curious, what, what has been like the day-to-day -day relationship between Coach Kenny and Justin Turns and how you balance responsibilities? Excellent. It's, 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 you know, we roll together. Me and them are locked arms and arms, and even Coach Tyler and, and all the guys that are helping us out. But it's, it, it helps a lot when you have a lot of, of, of you know, hands that could, you know, and, and extra set of eyes to look at the guys and make sure that we can locate what they need to work on. You know, I obviously compliment them what they need to work on, and it's really, and it's such a huge blessing to have someone with that experience. Is that kind of a, a unique relationship to you? Like a lot of times, you don't see really two coaches, you know, kind of take control of and work hand in hand over uh, one room. Is that unique to you, or just is something it, I mean, it, it, my mindset is you always look at, but like, if you have humility and, and you understand that the team is first and foremost, I don't look at it as unique. I think it's necessary. You know, you look at the safety, you got safety, a corner coach. Like, be lying, you got edges in the inside. But I like the way you and Henry are doing it, but it's, it's all cross, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I can't ask for anybody better to be, to go to battle with, like, you know, his, his uh, 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 authenticity and his genuine. It's, it's, it's very real, and especially his knowledge and his, you know, his energy. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. We just talked to Kobe. You, said, you, said you were a real rock for him his last couple of years. When he went in the portal, what were the conversations? Who is this? Kobe Pippen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What were the conversations you had with him then, uh, just, just sticking with it and staying here? Very simple. Like, you have an opportunity ahead of you. And, um, it's part of the process of, of, of developing young players, developing players in general. Like it's some people get it early, some people never get it, some people just fight all day to the end. And I'm, I'm excited with his progression. And um, he's a young man that is, has matured a lot. So um, we're fired up to have Kobe. What's the biggest way that he's improved or grown or changed? Consistency. It's, I know you guys, you're going to hear me say consistency a hard enough, but it really is that. Like Kobe, bring the freaking fire, bring the energy. Like that is something that he's got to understand. Understand. Sometimes he has good days, but I'm like, you gotta have elite days every day. You know, take his game to the next level. You're just not a big note. You know, that's your that's your role, but we expect you to do extra. You know, so um, he's a he's, he's a fighter. What have you seen from Carlin Jones so far, and what does he need to do? To they just you know they, they just approved Carlin Jones. Uh, I think it was yesterday or today for for full goal. You know what I mean? And it's good to have mass. Good to have Mass, and that's what he brings. And he's a very intelligent young man, a little bit behind on the technique and, and all that stuff. But that's secondary to the mentality and the mindset that we're looking for. And, and he's bringing it every day. Very, very proud and, and encouraged with Carl Long. I know Coach Lynn was talking about you know, size on the interior is more of an important factor in this defense than, than last year's. How, how much different is that in terms of what you want from the position, especially a defensive tackle? But the principles are the same. You still want big guys that can strike people and knock them back and get off blocks and make plays. Um, just the methods of how you approach it is a little bit different, you know. The belief in, in, in the bigger body and, to, and the scheme fits is different. It's not like it's right or wrong. It's just different different concepts of what you believe in. And, um, I like I like what we have right now. Coach, tackling was a huge issue for you all last year. Mm -hmm. What philosophical changes has Coach Land brought? Mindset and, and, and leverage. Gotta have the guys in the right mindset to ready and go bite their mouthpiece down and go knock people out and then everybody be on the right leverage to make those plays. What's your expectation um, standard for, for Braylon Shelby this year against the Rose game? Probably higher than anybody on the team, just as high as saying as, as, as uh, Anthony Lucas and any guy that has the ability to, to do big things. That is, that is, he knows it, we know it, and um, we have all the faith that we're gonna get it out of him. What's the key? What's the key to bringing all of that talent together? What does he need trust. to do? He needs to trust that he can do it. He needs to trust that he can do it within the scheme that we have designed for him, and he needs to trust his ability. So he needs to trust himself and us. So if he gets that trust. You can see him fly. Thank you.